No. Which way? Hang on, which way? This, this way. This way. Hello! <laughs> right, you've seen all the slides already, so I'm going to sit down again. Um, hello, I'm Carlton Gibson. Um, who am I? I'm a long-term Django user. I'm a maintainer on Django REST Framework, and crisp, um, Django Filter, Django Crispy Forms. And since January of this year, along with Tim Grain, who's been doing it for a long time, I'm the new Django Fellow. Um, what's a Django Fellow mean? Um, we are contracted by the Django Software Foundation, the DSF, and we basically do the day-to-day -day running of the, the project to keep it going. We um, handle the ticket triage. We do patch review. We do security work. We do the releases. Um, it's the sort of stuff that on a project of Django size, it just wouldn't happen without the fellowship program. Um, and the hope of the fellowship program is we let contributors, that's you, focus on the fun stuff, which is writing code. Um, so it's in this capacity that I'm here to say to you that your web framework needs you. I'm sorry about this slide. What I wanted to do was get Kitchener and the Django Pony and do some sort of thing, but it, my skills and time, they just went up to it. Django looks healthy, right? We have major releases every six months or so. We have conferences all over the world in glamorous locations. We have a foundation. We have fellows, right? But the core framework is maintained by a really, really small number of people. Um, we need more. We need, we need you. Um, oh, dear, that's the wrong button. There you are. So I put together this little graph. Um, I ran this little git command, and what that gives you is a list of contributors with the number of commits they have. And I plotted it like this so you could see the power law. Since Django 2.1, there have been about 481 commits to the repo from 121 individual committers. And that sounds amazing. But outside the gr of the group of fellows, the people who are doing the commits is, is, is like half a dozen people. Right? And then there's a really long tail, there's a few, well, another half a dozen who do some commits, and then maybe a half a dozen that are doing like one or two, and then there's lots of individual um, commits from people. It's okay, we keep it going, but the first problem is it's just not simply enough. There are 1,300 accepted tickets on the Django repo. Now, maybe that's okay. Right, Django is a mature framework. It fumbles along. That green line is the change over time. You see it basically stays the same forever. Um, we close an awful lot of tickets, but more ones come along. But for me, I think we need to be more dynamic than this. If Django is going to stay relevant for another 10 years, we need to be addressing this. If we aren't going to close these issues at some point, we should just declare the scope of the project smaller and close them as out of scope, right? for me. It's okay, we keep it going. We keep up with the database changes. We keep up with the, the version changes. We get the new releases out. But there's not much capacity to do more than that. Okay? But the second problem is it's just not representative. If you look at all the contributors there, it's quite white. It's not all white, but it's quite white. And it's very male. Okay? And that's not what I see in the room in front of me. Not at all. If you look down just to the few core contributors, then it's very, very white, and it's all male. Okay? Um, and I took this, that, that, those numbers from so, since 2.1, but I could have picked any time in the repo's history. There's this thing, it's called Django Core, the Django Core team, and it's, it's the, the great and the good of the Django project. It's everybody who's done all the good stuff over time. And there's two problems with the Django Core, it makes core team. It makes it look like the core team is 50 strong. Well, it's not. It's half a dozen people, right? But it's still not representative. It's still white men and very little else. Um, so this is recognized. There's a Django enhancement proposal to dissolve the Django core, to get rid of it. You can check it out. Um, and that will go through, I think. Sorry, I need to have a sip of water. but it's only half the story, right? We remove one power structure. We get rid of this Django core, which is the governing, it, it, runs, it runs the framework. It's the technical team that run the framework and make the decisions. But how do we make sure that we don't replace it with something which is exactly the same? How do we get new contribu contributions from across the community? Right? That's you. I don't know the answers to that. I really don't. I've got some ideas, but they're probably naive, and they don't touch on the real issues. So we need help. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to tell you how to get involved and how to tell us when that's not working, and then I'm going to ask you to help us go further than that. Simple as that. Right. So how do you get involved? Well, the contributing guide. You'd like to contribute to Django, but you don't know how. This document will explain our process and how to get involved. Well, that sounds promising, right? But it, it's not the solution, because we've had that for years, and we're in the situation that we're in. We're not getting con contributions from across the community. But it is a good starting point. So the first, it's, it's, the, it's the basis of what we've got, and it's where we need to build on to change to go forward. So the first thing I do is say, do read it and have a look around, and the, the, the related documents do tell you some good stuff. Um, the first thing is join Django developers. This is a mailing list. Um, I know, I know, you've got no time for Django developers. You're busy. You've got no time for another mailing list, and frankly, it's quite dull. But join it anyway. Then go to the notifications and turn them off, <laughs> right? And then check in every so often just to sort of have a look around, right? As you get more involved, it becomes more relevant. But just sign up for it and then turn off. There's another mailing list, though, and it's almost a secret. It's called Django Core Mentorship. Now, we don't do a good job of advertising this. It gets approximately zero traffic. But it is a place where experienced contributors are signed up to help you to get started contributing. So join Django developers and turn off notifications, but then join Django Core Mentorship and send an email to it saying, hey, I, I want to get involved. Can you help me? Now, this isn't an official mentoring program. Right? Maybe we need one. Maybe we need some input on what that pro mentorship program would look like. But Django Core Mentorship is already there. It already exists, and it already has paid people, experienced people waiting to help. So let's use that in the interim while we're coming up with something better. Okay. When you get stuck, you send an email to Django Core Mentorship. I'm stuck. I'm trying to do this. I can't, I can't turn off the notifications for Django developers. <laughs> Right, the next step then is get set up with the code, right? Now, you've, you've done this a million times. You clone the repo, so git clone, Django, Django, blah, blah, blah. It comes down, takes a while. Create a virtual end, Python, dash M, VM, Django, right? Um, install the requirements, pip, install, something, 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 right? Run the test, run test, right? And that's it, just run the test suite. Just see it, see the Django test suite in action. If you can't do it, send an email to Django called mention. I can't, I'm trying to get set up with the code. Right? That's it. Right? If you get stuck, email us. Then the next bit, this is the best bit, find a ticket. Now, this can be hard. There are 1,328 open accepted tickets. <laughs> well, where do I begin? Well, the, the um, contributing guy says look for tickets that are easy pickings. This isn't going to cut it. There are 1,328 accepted tickets, of which exactly 13 are marked as easy. <laughs> right. So we're not using this flag correctly. Right? But it's not binary. It's not like there are 13 easy tickets and 1,300 phenomenally hard ones. <laughs> All right? Yes, there are some phenomenally hard tickets. Right? And there's a whole load of ones which, yes, they're pretty tricky. But the vast majority of the tickets are no harder than the problems you solve every single day using Django, I promise you. Right? Yes, they need time. Yes, they need thought. Yes, they need a little bit of your love, but they're not hard. No, they're not harder than the problems you already solve as a matter of course. Um, the reason they're not solved already is because there's too many of them. There's 1,300 of the things. And the contributors are too few. So there's a massive opportunity for you to get involved. You can make a massive difference. And here's the little trick. If you start, if you start looking at a ticket and you get stuck, you can either open a pull request and say, this is what I've got, or you can email Django Cord Mention saying, I'm trying to solve this issue. And the people who haven't got the time to solve it by themselves, they'll jump in and help you. They'll give you the advice. It, all it needs is that little bit of input from you saying, I'm actually looking at this. Right? So please do. Um, uh, yeah. So is there a bit of Django that you're using that isn't right? Do you hit a bug at work? Do you, you're Googling around it? Do you... That, is there a ticket there? Do that. What was my first ticket on Django? The 1.8, the, uh, the templates. You couldn't instantiate a template without specifying a template back end. But I've only got one back end. It's the default one. Can't we just use that? Yes, we can. OK, so we, that was my first patch on Django. Why was I qualified to do that? Well, because it was the bug I was having. 
right? Fine. Then submit a, ta a PR, okay? That uh, looks easy when it's written like that. It takes time, right? It takes time. You've got to do docs. You've got to do tests. You open the PR, you get feedback. You make changes. You, do, you get more feedback. Can you adjust the line wrap? Yes, okay. Can you revert this irrelevant change? Yes, okay. You've, you've added some white space. Yes, okay, right? It can feel hard. It's about quality here, right? Django's good. Why do you use it? Why has it lasted so long? Because it's good. It's the, the, the review process is about keeping it good. Um, don't take it personally. It's not personal. Everybody gets the same review. Everybody. You can be superstar coder A. You, uh, can, you've, you've messed up the white space here. Can you change the line wrapping? You, it's, the, it's not personal. Don't take it that, that way. If you feel difficult, if it feels difficult, reach out to Django Core Mentorship. Send an email. Also, I'm here to help at Carlton Gibson. I'm on GitHub. If you put that in a commit message or on a message on GitHub, GitHub will send me an email and I will respond. That's my, what I'm employed by the Django Software Foundation to do. Part of my remit is specifically to help new contributors. So please, at mention me and I will help you. Okay? You can do it. You are qualified. If you've been working on an issue, Googling it, looking for a solution, then you know as much as anybody right now about that issue. You really do. Right? You think you don't know enough, but no one knows enough. I'm not qualified for most of the issues that come up. Someone open, I don't know the answer. I have to look at the code. I have to study it. I have to spend the time going through it. Is this the right solution? I have to look at the history. I'm not qualified. Or I am qualified, so are you. That's the point, right? What if you don't feel ready to contribute to Django? Well, what about other repos? Right? Django secret sources third-party apps. I learned, I got off um, contributing to Django REST framework. That's how I learned to do it. There are lots of projects, all under maintain, that would love your help. They would love your help, because it's hard. If you want to help me on Django Filter, on Django Crispy Forms, I would love your help, because I don't have the time there. So there is any number of opportunities for you to get involved. There are other tasks. You, can work, you don't have to work on the code. You can work on the documentation. That's, you know, you work on tickets there. You can work on translations. There's an operations team. Do you know about Ansible and all those Jenkins and things like that? You could help there. There's a security team. Do you know about web security? You, OK, there's a trust issue. You have to get yourself known because it's a position of trust. But you could work on the security team if you're qualified. There's, there's any number of options, right? But the big one that we really, as well as all of these things we really need your help on is to help smooth the on-ramp, right? The existing how-to guide, the how contrib contribution guide doesn't cut it. We, we don't have contributions from across the Django community. We have a bunch of white men, mainly. So how can we smooth the on-ramp? How can we make it better so that whatever isn't inviting comes inviting? Email Django Core Mentorship. I'm finding that this is a barrier to people getting involved. Reach out again. The answer is basically yes. We just don't know what the questions are yet. Right? So we have an opportunity to build the future of Django here. We're getting rid of this, the core team, and it's a, it's a point where we need to, well, we have an opportunity. Let's, let's use it. Right? They can help, but the change can't come from the same small group of people that are doing the contribution. The change needs to come from new contributors, fresh input from across the community. We need you. Your web framework needs you. Right? Come and join us. Come, come. That's it.